Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to look at the video settings in a Nikon D750 camera. So let's start off with uh, when it is set to camera mode, you basically come down here and here as you can see is the camera mode and the video mode. If you press the button video mode, now we are going into the video mode and the way you recognize this to be video mode is by this uh, rectangular square of focus and initially you may see these uh, items in the bottom the first one is the shutter speed the shutter speed is generally set to twice the the film rate that is set if you have a film rate set at uh, 30 frames per second then you use 1 60th of a second and I am setting this to 24 frames per second so I have 1 50th of a second I have f4 which is the lowest f-stop I can have on this cam then here we have the ISO and I'm going to show you how we set all these things the first thing I would go is to the info button here which is right on top of this wheel and if you press the info button there are a lot of information so the first time you press it you see the grid lines so you can uh, align your uh, objects in the grid line and see make sure that all the things that you want to see are in the grid line next you press one more time you see this little uh, deflection I don't know what it is but uh, that's not I'm going to be and this is where you level your camera so if the legs are not even and until you see the green line you see if you move it a little bit uh, uh, it, it turns yellow that means it's uh, not horizontal so when you see the green line that means it is horizontal and when you press one more time now it is going to display all the things that you want to see in the camera such as uh, the autofocus then we have the film quality which is standard then we have the white balance which is automatic and next to that is the film speed which is uh, 1080p 24 frames per second and since these uh, DSLR cameras allow for only 29 30 minutes we have 29 minutes and 59 seconds left and it is recording to the first uh, SD card when we come down here we have these same settings here and here you can see the audio level which will help you to make sure the audio level that you are recording is adequate and it is not clipping or it is too low so let's start off with the menu here so if you go to the menu here then we see all the and this is what you need to select which is the third one from the top the camera settings and it is set to camera settings and if I press this one now we can come down here now we have the film naming which is uh, quite obvious we don't need to worry about this destination whether you want this to go to SD card number one or SD card number two then we have the frame settings if you press on this uh, you can select whatever you want uh, this is Nikon D750 we go all the way from 1920 by 1080 that is 60 frames all the way to 720 50 frames per second so that is uh, I'm set at uh, 1080p 24 frames if you come down the movie quality and that is where the amount of information that's going to be stored and there are uh, two options available here one is the normal where this file size is going to be much less compared to a high quality I just left it for normal because if you're doing ordinary video recording up to you just I would say run sample of both high and normal quality and see what the film quality is and also the film size so both needs to be taken into consideration next we're going to move on to microphone sensitivity if you, if you see the microphone should be set around like 11 to 12 and that clips off any sound going beyond that as, I, as I'm very close to the microphone here you can see the sound but hey see that's going to be not good if you record it because you can't fix it uh, in post-processing which I do in Adobe Premiere uh, CC so this is set at 12 and this is how you can adjust your microphone level let's go back to the next option the next option is frequency response this is based upon you know if you're recording voice recording then you can use voice range so it, it narrows this down to like the human voice 
so it focuses more on human voice then if you are like in a wild nature then you're recording all kinds of high pitch uh, sounds from the birds things like that you may want to set it to wide range so that is uh, vocal range now we come down into voice noise reduction which we really don't need to worry about it then we come down further then we come to the image area image area is uh, like uh, you choose the image area whether it could be fx or dx uh, the image you can use a full frame image or you can crop it to dx uh, which is going to be 1.5 times uh, because this is a full frame camera so i'm leaving it at fx because that's what i want white balance is led to uh, automatic that's what i would usually set it picture control is uh, more for a more advanced type of videography here you can just set it to standard and this is a neutral one neutral one sort of uh, reduces the saturation and this is the standard one and you just experiment with the where is it? this picture control so if you go back to here we press and say we want to select neutral and see how the neutral looks that's set to neutral now this is what neutral looks kind of dull then you, you have to do a lot of post processing it's a flat image so you have to decide what fits your requirement best so i'm just going to leave it at normal and you can look at all these other ones which are standard neutral vivid monochrome and portrait so these are all some of the things that are available so let's leave it at standard then move on to the next item manage picture control the manage picture control is save and edit there's not a whole lot we need to do here we're not going to be editing this we can just save it then we go back to now we have the high iso set to normal the high iso can be set to high normal low or off i usually set it to normal and you can test the other numbers and see this is where movie iso sensitivity settings this is very important because uh, you set the the manual mode to whatever number you like you just have to experiment i mean there's no set uh, uh, guidance whatsoever and usually i would like to set the iso to the lower number so that uh, we get a clearer image there's not enough uh, there's not going to be too much granularity this is an important thing you need to make sure auto iso control off i had a lot of problem by leaving it on because i use i use a television if i can exit this as you can see i have a television in the background and every time the television image darkness and brightness changes the auto iso sensitivity would automatically change the camera settings which is going to kind of totally mess up the people's uh, image quality who are sitting in front of the television so i would just leave the iso fixed or leave that uh, iso uh, as off so that uh, the, once you set it to 2000 or 1000 that's what it's going to do it doesn't matter what the television's brightness is going to be from second to second the next one we don't use the time lapse oh I need to still stay in this one time lapse photography we don't need to worry about that then film naming we don't need to worry about film naming then we have the the destination which have we have so these are all the various settings for the video camera once you have set this uh, uh, stuff one more thing i want to show you is the autofocus autofocus uh, uh, quality is very poor with uh, most dslrs especially with this uh, nikon cameras so how do we overcome that one so let us focus on the autofocus now let's get off the menu and here i have all the settings which I can see my microphone level my shutter speed f-stop ISO that's what it's uh, reading but uh, you know it will be set to whatever we set like the minimum ISO I set uh, which would, if you want to change the ISO you press the ISO button then use the back wheel to change the ISO level and as you can see as you increase the ISO level the image brightness increases and that's how you very quickly make the adjustments and leave it there so that uh, it doesn't jump up and down while you're recording the video then i'm seeing these crossbars whichever whenever wherever there's a bright i see these crossbars wherever there's a bright light 
I don't know why I see that. Uh, if anyone knows why they see this once, uh, maybe you can uh, leave a comment. That would help me and also other people. Okay, let's get back to the focus. But you can use the focus ring since the focus is on manual. The, the, the whole system is on manual, so we we can use a uh, press the front button to auto focus it. But that uh, is one way to focus on the people who are sitting in the image uh, frame. And once you it's uh, set up the focus, then you put the auto focus uh, in front of the camera. I hope you know where the autofocus and manual is and you just switch it to manual so that uh, it doesn't keep flipping uh, if it is on autofocus so that's one way to do it if uh, you're not able to do it that way you can use the focus ring see like uh, this is a focus ring which helps you and once you adjust it, like this is totally out of focus i'm using the focus ring the first ring on the kit lens which is uh, 24 by 120 lens on Nikon D750 camera. So I am adjusting a ring here to see which one is focused. So this is focused. Once this is focused, basically I will turn the autofocus to manual uh, so that uh, the focus would not change throughout the video recording. But make sure if you go to photography, you switch that to autofocus. Otherwise your images are going to be out of focus uh, because it is set to manual. Once you do that, you're all set to video record. You basically just press the red button next to the shutter button. And if you can see here, you press the red button, it will start recording. How do we know it is recording? And here I can see the record button and I can see the audio meter here and all my other settings are here. And it will tell me how much time is left uh, for recording. So basically you have to set a timer to 29 minutes and you record it for 29 minutes stop whatever you're doing then start a new session and then you can record another 29 minutes in that way you're not accidentally missing an important point during conversation or in the word inadvertently you forget for another 30 minutes and all of that will be gone so that's not going to be useful so best thing is whoever is recording the videographer should have a timer for 29 minutes stop it at 29 minutes and tell the guests in the frame to stop then you restart the camera and then you record for another 29 minutes so that's how we do it so i'm going to stop this one for now the video tip so again to summarize all the video settings are right here on the back of the camera and info is the one you start off with the where you look at all the settings then of course you have to press the video button to get into a video mode and all the changes you make are in this video camera icon and all the sub menus under that i hope uh, this has been helpful to you if you know of any other better ways to get a better quality of video using Nikon D750 make some comments and I also want to show you the stand I have for this that is the most important thing the camera is it's quite heavy I tell you you cannot put them on a feeble stand so you have to have a stand let me see if I can zoom out I have this uh, where is it? I have this heavy duty stand which is used for large uh, video cameras as you can see and uh, that's a pretty big stand and that's what you need to make sure your camera is steady and also it's stable and to get this camera stable you have to have this particular plate and that is exceedingly important because you can't put them on a like a regular small holder for the camera because of the weight of the camera uh, i don't know let me see if i can turn this one to show you the plate is uh, pretty long and it is very sturdy let me see how i can remove this to give you a demonstration of uh, what the plate looks like here we press the red button and then we slowly put the camera out and you can see now this uh, you can see the camera plate here the the bottom plate holding the camera is pretty long and we just simply press the red button and slide this and it locks in place and you don't have to worry about it falling off or the 
tripod tripling over itself uh, while you're trying to record the video please do leave comments and uh, maybe you have some better suggestions as to how to get uh, a better quality image if the lighting is dull and you don't have this uh, the, the other thing i'm using here is the led light to light up this camera let me show you the led lights i'm using let me turn this away so you can see that is the light this is the very slick uh, Viltrox V I L T R O X, which is V L two hundred T, and as you can see, let's see if you can. I don't know if you can see this. And here is his number. It is set to one hundred percent power and fifty five hundred Kelvin. The beauty about this Viltrox V L two hundred T is you can dial the lighting light settings from thirty two hundred Kelvin all the way up to fifty six hundred Kelvin. Again, this is very small and slick. Uh, it sits on a little tripod stand here. And as you can see, it sits on a little tripod stand. And this is so, so compact. You can carry it in your car and you can set up your whole studio like here I have set up. Uh, this is a little, little folding table. Let me get the camera out of the way. This is my television studio. You're not going to believe it. <laughs> and this is a little folding table from Walmart or Sam's at $40. There's another thing which I have got for the backdrop to look it, make it look like television. Uh, Stavy Studio is, uh, let me show you here. And here's a little backdrop I'm working on, which uh, I'm trying to make sure I, I move the furniture to get uh, the backdrop. Uh, that I want to and here's the backdrop uh, which I'm going to be using and in front of that will be the television and then we have the chairs and in front of that we have this little table because in post-processing uh, I'm going to put a black bar at the bottom so it will look like a real uh, uh, national television and you can look at some of the videos I have done you will be quite uh, uh, surprised to see how all this little mess here will turn into a beautiful video with just little uh, camera adjustments. Thank you so much for watching this presentation. I know I went pretty fast, but you can slow it down and watch it uh, again if you want to. I hope this will help you to get your first video going. If you know more tricks, please do leave comments below and I will see you in the next video.